Hey what's going on guys, my name is Nathan and welcome back to the Snack Saloon. Now today I'm doing more Brazilian snacks. I already made a video on these not too long ago and I'm sort of finishing them off now. These are what I got in the Universal Humans box, it was the September box. Basically I have six things, I have two chips, I have some cookies and then three sort of smaller things. So I've got a decent variety. I'm going to start off with these. Now these are Yokitos and these are bacon flavoured chips. Never had this brand before, never even heard of it before. The only bacon chips I've really had is in the UK, they have smoky bacon flavour and then there was also some other, I don't know what this brand's called, but there was like these chips I had growing up in the UK and they were like shaped like bacon rashers, but I forget, I forget the brand name now, but yeah, those are the only two things I've had, so that's the only thing I'm going to be able to compare these two. I'm just going to open them up and I'll give them a quick smell. Okay, there's definitely a smell of bacon to them, it's almost... It's weird, it almost smells like maple syrup to me. I don't know why that is. It's like a sweet smell. And obviously the shape of them, they're sort of like not straight, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna go ahead and try them. Okay, they taste more like bacon than they smell. I would say those are pretty good. They're not too strong. The, the bacon taste isn't strong at all. I can't say it tastes exactly like bacon, like if you gave this to someone and didn't tell them the flavour, I don't think they would guess bacon. Like I said, there's a real strong sweetness to them that almost makes it taste like maple syrup. Looking on the ingredients, there's no meat extracts or anything like that in there, so it is an artificial taste. And you can definitely tell, because like I said, it doesn't taste like bacon. But yeah, they're still pretty good. Next up, I've got these. Now these are by Biscoito di Polvillo, and these just say Yucca Snacks. And when I first saw these, I thought they almost looked like popcorn, but I don't think that's what they are. And this bag is really full, like it's full to the brim, like completely solid. So I don't really know what to expect from these, I'm just going to have to open them up and just give them a try. There's no real smell to them, it's kind of nothingness in their shape, it's almost like peanuts. Yeah, there's no smell to them, oh I'm just going to give it a shot. There's not much flavour to them at all. It's almost like they're eating almost like a prawn cracker from like a takeaway place. But then again, it's not got the, the prawn taste. It's that sort of texture though, like nothingness. I don't really know what to make of those. There's no taste to them at all. Hmm. I'm still going to do the cookies. These are Powdy Mel and they're by the Village brand. And on the front here, it looks like there's honey in them. Obviously chocolate and honey. Never had these before, apparently there's six inside the packet here, so let's take a look. Here they are inside, they're smaller than I thought, I thought it would be bigger than this for some reason. But they're just sort of round. Obviously it just smells like chocolate, I don't know if it's going to be particularly good chocolate, but let's see. Okay, it has the same sort of filling as like a regular moon pie has that sort of ginger taste to it, if that makes sense. I definitely can taste the honey in them. It's almost like a ginger honey taste mixed with the chocolate, obviously. I think they're pretty good. I don't think I could eat all six of them in one sitting. The chocolate sort of has that sickly taste to it, if that makes sense. It, it's But the, the inside, the inside of the biscuit is actually really good. Like, you can taste the honey and the ginger, so they get a thumbs up from me. Next up, I'm going to do the smaller things that I've got left here. I'm going to start off with this. This is Serenata di Amor, and it's by Garotto. I don't really know what this is. It's chocolate and it almost has like a rattle to it because I assume it's got like nut or like praline inside. Okay, it looks a little bit crushed, but you can definitely tell it's chocolate. I'm just going to go ahead and take a bite because like I said, there's something rattling in there but I can't work out what it is. I don't know how well you can see that. There is definitely some hard like praline in there, like almost like a wafer. But then there's some soft filling as well. The soft filling almost reminds me of like melted white chocolate, something like that. Probably not, but that's the taste I'm getting from it. And then obviously the wafer as well. That was actually really good. Next up I'm gonna try this. Well, I guess it's a wafer. I don't know why it's giving me that impression, but it's just called Bis. 
I think it reminds me of like a blue ribbon biscuit in the UK. That's the sort of vibes I'm getting from the packaging. Okay, actually, now that I'm opening it up, it looks like there is chocolate on this. I wasn't expecting that. It is covered in chocolate, but you can see it is actually a wafer. And it seems to be like quite a, a lot of stacks of wafer in there. So I presume it's just wafer and chocolate. Yeah, that's all pretty much that was, just wafer and chocolate. It was pretty good. There wasn't too much chocolate on there, so it wasn't overpowering. And then last but not least, I just have this butter toffee. Yeah, butter toffee. And this is by Arcor. I presume this is just going to be like a chewy toffee, you know. It's a little paler than I thought it would be. I'm used to toffee being a bit darker than that, but... Oh, it smells like lemon. Okay, maybe this isn't what I thought it was going to be. Maybe not lemon, but definitely some kind of fruit. Let's give this a try. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, now that I look at the packaging a bit closer, it does say passion fruit mousse. So yeah, it's like a toffee that's passion fruit flavored. Can't say I've ever had anything like that before, but that was actually really good. I was pleasantly surprised. That's everything from this video, guys. I've tried literally everything in that Universal Humes box now. Had some really interesting chips. That toffee thing was just like unexpected. I wasn't expecting that at all. Pretty much everything I tried was, was good in terms of Brazilian food, so I'm definitely looking forward to trying some more if I can find it anywhere. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, leave some comments below on countries you'd like me to try in the future. Until next time, see ya.